You did a wonderful job with the accent. Thank you. You really had it down pat there. Thank you. Okay. What kind of shots do you have? Oh, if you could vary <coughs> between a single and a two shot, please. Sure. And if you could do a varying single, that would be great. Okay. Thanks, Kay. Okay, whenever you're ready. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. At least a little tweaking there. Yeah. yeah. You know, Tasha, there's a great scene in Nell when she goes into town and there's a sense of wonderment when she yeah. sees all these things around her. Mm. Uh, I've always loved the theater, and I've been at the theater at times when uh, children from poor neighborhoods have been treated to a, a day at a, at a matinee. Mm. Have you ever s seen that sense of wonderment at people who have come to plays that you've been in? Um, oh, well... I don't want to blow my own trumpet. I think I'd feel very strange if I sat here and told you about people who had wondered at me. Or you could. I ha, I, I remember. I mean, I, I that thing of kids. I I did a musical uh, uh, for the stage in the West End of London about um, that was based on high society. The the movie, um, and and young girls would. And I had these incredible dresses, and it's such a it's such a lovely love story, and young girls love that. And they would come backstage completely starry-eyed, completely starry-eyed, and look at all these ball gowns I had. And, but uh, that's all I can think of, really. You know, uh, I was, I'm always interested in, in actors' early roles. Uh, when the Patty Hearst film mm. came out, I remember there was almost like a, a double whammy uh, in that it was about a, a real person, uh, well, doing the publicity, yeah. a real person, and the fact that you had to answer a lot of questions about, you know, famous family. Was that a, a difficult thing for you to get through the publicity? Was that a really grueling experience? Uh, I think so, because I, I, you know what, I, it's a really good question, because I, I hadn't been expecting with that movie that I would, I had to become Patty's defense lawyer. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, and I really did. I had to defend her publicly and answer questions that I, I wasn't ever expecting to be asked and I really did feel that I knew a great deal about it because the amount of research I'd done and because I'd played the part to a very small degree I had been in a way what she'd been through in a in a in a very small pretend way so I think I I I, I was surprised by the amount of um aggression that there was against her the, um, I saw The Handmaid's Tale when it came out a few years ago, and I just loved that film. It was just so interesting. I know it, it wasn't mm. the most commercial film. No. Um, how good have you been at predicting the box office you know, viability of your films? Let's say that film compared to The Fat Man and Little Boy. Well, with one or two exceptions, I've never thought I was in a movie that was going to make a lot of money. I mean, all the movies that I've done have been... Uh, smaller movies or more art house movies. Um, I thought that Fat Man and Little Boy when we were shooting it had a chance. Um, and I thought that possibly Handmaid's Tale did too, although I knew it was going to be a very difficult sell. That's why I feel differently about Nell. Nell is, is the first studio mainstream movie that I, I've done and it's the first movie that is I think audiences are going to really respond to. And it's ironic because I'm, I'm a person, I, I do go and see, you know, all art movies, um, but my tastes are very much to sort of the, the romantic and the, and, the, and the mainstream, so um, I'd be going to see this movie. Okay. You know, there's a great scene in Nell uh, where you dive, do a great dive. Thank uh, you. And, and I've done some lake swimming in right. the summer, and I know how cold lake water is. First of all, yeah. was that you diving, and how cold was the water? First of all, it was me diving, and it was freezing cold. And I was, you know, you get into the mode of thinking, I'm going to show off. And sure, hey, Michael, do you want me to dive off the top of that houseboat? And he goes, cool. And then you get up there, and it's like, oh, no. And now I've pretended I'm so so brave, and now I really have to do it because the camera's there. Um, so it was, it was very cold. I was so impressed with your accent. Uh, how Thank you. well you, you nailed it. How difficult was that for you? And did you ever wander into town and just test it on people to see whether uh, it would fly? No, I, I, I'm, too, I'm too scared to do that. I'm much too scared. I, I'm, I, can't, I can't do it, do an accent as me. I couldn't walk into a store as 
Natasha and, and speak in a funny accent. Um, so uh, I did work. I did work harder. Did I work with a great coach called Tim Monarch, um, and I listened to tapes of of uh, voices that I thought would be right. Now you worked in some like major, you know, uh, business centers like New York, mm -hmm. uh, London, Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Being where you were on this film, yes, was that a hardship or was that a uh, a welcome change of pace for you? You'd think it would be a hardship, but in fact, it's a luxury because there are no distractions. So you can't say so you, you have nothing to do except work and sleep. And um, it's a great luxury not to, to be in that position, to just be able to focus in that way. And, and one final question. Yeah. This, is, this is a serious question about, about people intruding on the lives of, of mm. celebrities. Um, there's a story that when you and, and Liam, when he proposed, that there were people mm -hmm. next to you in a restaurant who overheard and then reported it to uh, the, the, the yes. media. How shocking was that for you and how disturbing was that when you found that out? I'd had a, a similar, in fact even worse experience that I won't go into a few months before of a whole, of somebody who followed me into a restaurant and eavesdropped on the whole very private conversation and then talked to a newspaper about it. So. I can't pretend I'm surprised, um, but it's still it's still very hurtful, and it's shocking to me that what I think of as sort of ordinary citizens might call up and um, give that kind of information. I just sort of think it says it's sad for them really more than for me. What kind of people are you that you do that? 